Hello tankers and tankettes, welcome to a viewer replay. This is Mr. Crow, who, well, we've had him before. He's got his own YouTube channel and he's also a fellow EU community contributor. This is one he actually sent me a little while ago and uh, I'm going to be honest and say I forgot I had it. But I was in need of something short and sweet to sit down and record today because I've been feeling kind of crummy. I was going to sit down and do CK2 uh, and those videos are a bit more involved. They usually take a good kind of three hours plus just to record and edit and then you've got the render time on top of that so it's a, a good chunk of the day to do something like CK2 and instead I've just felt really wrong because I didn't sleep particularly well last night unfortunately so um, instead we're gonna have this more rather compact high action filled game and you can tell I'm <laughs> struggling to string words together even more than usual from Mr. Crow. Now he's actually in uh, Kazna. Kazna is one of the uh, better clans on EU, although there might be, now I've said that, I'm sure there will be comments. There's always comments about something, but you know, let's make there be comments about that. So he's gone for an early spot in the middle, dived behind cover, and well, he did actually light up that uh, bat chat. The bat chat probably wasn't even loaded at that point, so uh, his risk of taking any fire there was pretty minimal. Goes up the slope a little bit, maybe trying to reacquire him. He's almost certainly got optics on this thing. And, well, he doesn't, but uh, at this stage he sees that there's a, a bit of motion going on over on the eastern flank, which is probably the more important flank on this map, and decides to go and join his platoon mate, who is, I want to say Yizni. It might not be but that's what it looks like it should be pronounced as. They're both, by the way, I mean it's obvious, they're both in the uh, the, the grand finals, uh, the, the German Walker Bulldogs. Uh, last year the grand finals tank was, of course, the 1357. This time it was kind of a tank we already had in the game. It was a Walker Bulldog at tier 8 with a 90mm gun, a very nice little gun for uh, tier 8 scout tank, it's something like 180 pen, so it's on a par with some of the tier 8 medium tanks in fact. In fact that beats some of the uh, like the, the T-44, I think that gets like 175 pen, so uh, it's even better. So it's one of these ones where uh, it's got a, a pretty good potential to do damage. And most of the tier 8 scouts are like that, but of course they're not all equal. Um, although, having said they're not all equal, mostly I mean the 13 rate. So they've rolled up this enemy flank, and uh, that's fine. They can clear out what is at the base. But as we can see on the minimap on the other side, they are pressing down hard on the uh, western flank defenders of his own team. So they can't hang around here too long, otherwise they will be in danger of being capped. They do have themselves some defending tank destroyers, but trying to defend along that kind of ridge line either north or south where you can see how it's going for these northern defenders and it's not going to go particularly well for the southern defenders either just because it never does it's the, the nature of this map so trying to get the kill shot on that 704 and his way is maybe pushing his luck a little bit with the uh, t30 so he doesn't try for another shot from that same position He's actually going to wait a, a little moment until he is reasonably confident that he is unspotted. And he pops out, lines up the shot, only for Yizni to uh, take the kill instead. Oh well. But he's down. That's, you know, that's quite handy. That's useful. The 704, uh, not 704, the T30 has a, a very nasty gun, potentially. The 704, however, with less than 100 hit points, is still alive, annoyingly. He's already had one bounce on that guy. This, that has just enough armor to be troll against lower pen guns. It's kind of like um, the SU 12244, for instance. It, it, it's pretty effective armor against uh, lower tiered guns, but uh, against same and higher tiers, it's not going to bounce that much. Now he goes forward looking to take out either the 74 or the Arty, and the Arty presents himself first, so why not? Actually, he's um, got some HE going here as well. Now, I can't remember if this is the kind of high pen HE that the uh, RU-251 on the Kanoni Jagdpanzer get, but even if it wasn't, it doesn't matter because the superstructure of the M5355 is very thin indeed. 
So the Kanoni Panzer uses his speed to go past, and oh, that's an unfortunate bounce because it just cost the Kanoni Panzer his tank. If uh, Mr. Crow had gotten that kill, well, the E4 still would have shot the K Panzer, but he would have survived. He would have been able to pull back. So it's unfortunate for that guy. Our range users just decided it was not going to be so. So this is a bit high risk. He could survive the hit, but it would be a lot of hit points to give away. However, just rushing down that E4 so he can get up close has paid off dividends because, well, as if you're unaware, although this thing is in fact a tank destroyer with a turret, it doesn't go all the way around. It's a bit funny the, pro the progression with the uh, turreted TD line. You get the T25 slash 2, which has a fully rotating turret, and then the prot, which doesn't, and then the T30, which does, and then the E4, which doesn't. And I think the E4 has actually got the least um, uh, turret traverse range of any of them. It's uh, only um, 90, de uh, 90 degrees each side. And I'm pretty sure the, the T28 prot has more than that. Anyway, there's the, just the last couple of enemies. It's come down to three versus three. It's Yizni, Mr. Crow, Artil and the artillery versus uh, an E5, an I7, and a T10. And this T10 is off by himself, so Mr. Crow spotted there's an opportunity here. He goes forward, takes the hit, spends the health that he's been able to uh, husband up until this point, and puts some heat shells through the front of this guy's armor because he's run out of AP. Heat is uh, what he's got left at this point. Well, he's got a couple of HE rounds as well. But the, the, the T10 gets quite mad about this. And to be fair, he's got no way of knowing that Mr. Crow has literally no AP ammo left. But at this stage of the game, I think it would be a little more reasonable to assume that that's why somebody's only firing heat shells. Because either it's all they've got left, or it's just it's a crunch situation. It, it's that moment when every single shot has to count, every shell has to pen. So, looking for a cheeky shot on the E5, but uh, against the turret that would have been tricky. However, artillery takes care of him uh, while he was uh, like giving his back to... Uh, like, looking at Mr. Crow gave Artie the perfect opportunity, basically. And at this stage he just goes in, takes the hit, and gets that final kill. So he was one off a top gun there. If he'd been able to get that T30 earlier, he would have had uh, another medal to go on this roster. But still, that was an ace tanker and a brothers in arms because both him and Yisni had at least three kills each. It was, what, nine kills between them, which is not bad going. And uh, that's, what, 7,000, just over 7,000 damage between them as well. They were both at the top of the team, although Mr. Crow had by far the better score. He had 1700 base XP versus 1200 and that's probably because in addition to the 3900 damage he did do, he also got a bunch of assistance damage there as well, nearly 2300. And because this is a premium tank that all added up to a nice fat reward of 137,000 credits. That's not bad going at all. So like I said, something short, sweet and action filled and uh, well, if you missed getting the th the Lickerpuffet's th uh, M4190, um, unfortunately, you're probably never going to get it again because it was, uh, like the 1357, uh, a limited time sale during the uh, Wargaming 2016 Grand Finals. But there'll probably be something else along next year as well. So we'll see what that is. Hopefully you've enjoyed this game. If you have, you can uh, leave it in comments below. You can hit the like button, you can sub to my channel if you aren't already, and as always, stay tuned for more.